Hello and you're very welcome to this video explaining how welfare loss or deadweight loss is shown on different diagrams. So just a quick recap on what welfare loss is. It is the loss in economic efficiency uh, or it's uh, where the firm is not operating at the social optimum point or social surplus and loss. In other words, when a firm or market isn't operating as efficiently as it could. So what you're seeing in front of you now is a standard diagram for a monopoly. Okay, And to find the profit maximizing point, we need to find where MC equals M more, which is shown here. So we drop down to find our quantity and we find our price by going up to our demand curve, our average revenue curve, and dotting across to find our price there. So that's the price and quantity that the monopoly operates at. Now, as you know, that's not the most efficient point. The most efficient point is where uh, the our marginal cost curve meets our demand curve there. So to show you that then with the red pen, it would be here and here would be our op, uh, our optimum price and quantity. Okay. So I'm going to call that PO and QO. Okay. So as you can see there now that we're operating at a higher price and a lower quantity than would be the most optimum or efficient point for this market. Therefore, we can draw a deadweight loss here in the boundary of the area from where our uh, price quantity line there is for the where the monopoly operates up to the point where the where the uh, optimum point would be for the market to operate. And we draw that little triangle there. And this area here then is our deadweight loss or our welfare loss for the monopolist, okay? So as we can see, it's a nice little triangle there, okay? Dead weight loss. L lovely W there, but that's our dead weight loss. Now, take a moment, pause this, and have a look and make sure you fully understand that is where our dead weight loss. It's the area here that we are, lo the uh, economy or the market is losing out because it's not operating at the most efficient point. We've lost social surplus there as our consumer surplus has got smaller. Therefore, less consumers are able to buy the good at the higher price than they would at the lower price. And we have a uh, lower quantity produced as well. So there's less suppliers uh, a willing or able to supply at this price. So now let's look across now to a slightly different diagram. Okay, now in this diagram here, what we're looking at is we're looking at uh, the idea of a positive externality, uh, sorry, a, a negative production externality. So if we're looking at the idea of a factory, say, for example, okay, so our factory is operating, okay, um, there is no change to our benefits, our private benefit or our social benefit down here, okay. But, however, there is a difference to the costs involved. So this factory emits pollution, be it air pollution, water pollution, noise pollution, whatever it might be. Okay, So therefore, we have the private cost to the actual individual buying the product. But there's also a cost to society as well, which means our marginal social cost curve is higher than my private cost curve here. So what is going to happen here? Well, in this case, then, let's draw a dotted line across here indicates the price of the market and here indicates the quantity of the market in this scenario here however as we know this isn't ideal okay what should be happening here is that in an ideal world there will be less produced operating here at q opt instead and it will be charged at a higher price of q p opt here now Let's identify the dead wear loss in the, the dead, dead, dead weight loss in this case. So, if you notice here, our optimum price, okay, is higher and our optimum quantity is lower. So it's the opposite in the case of monopoly. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a, a, a triangle here from our optimum point to where we're actually operating from. Okay, so our optimum equilibrium point to our actual equilibrium point here. Okay, we're then going to draw a line up to where it meets the marginal social cost curve and match up that triangle. And that there is our triangle for a dead weight loss for a firm or market operating with negative production externalities. 
So just so I finish shading in this triangle here, I'm going to label that my dead weight loss there. Okay, now let's look at the two diagrams together. Okay, so the triangles are on opposite sides. So if we look here, okay, in my monopoly curve, my optimum point was over here, and but where my actual operating point was to the left of that. However, over here, it's the opposite, where my optimum point is actually a higher price and lower quantity to what is actually being produced, which is a larger quantity at a smaller price. And that is why my triangle is reversed for, uh, there for dead weight loss or for welfare loss. Hope this video made sense. If anyone has any questions, please ask below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video.